What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video I wanna share with you some awesome resources for finding free fonts. Let's get started. So first up we have Behance.net. This is kind of Adobe's social platform, if you will, for designers. You'll see stuff with graphic design, UI, UX, mockups, prints, vector, all those kind of things. But if we come up to the search bar, we can just type in free fonts and you'll see a ton of awesome free fonts available to download. Now one thing specifically that I like about this platform is that all these designers are going through a lot of effort to make these fonts look good, so you can get a lot of awesome ideas and get really inspired by just looking through all of these items. Now the next website is Medium. Now I know this is more for news and other blog posts, but I've actually found a ton of awesome fonts this way mostly because they're included in a huge list of fonts, like this 101 best free fonts. So when you find an article, it's not like you're just finding one font, you can actually see a ton of awesome font ideas from that one article. Next up, we have fontbundles.net, and this is actually a premium website for fonts, but they do have a free section. So there's a ton of awesome ideas here that you can choose from. I do believe that some of these fonts will expire after a certain amount of months or whatever, and then you actually have to go pay for that font. But pretty much at any given time, they'll have a bunch of different fonts available for free. Next up, we have awards.com. Now this is actually where websites are given, hence the name, awards for being really well designed or really well developed, but they do have a free font collection on this site. So you can find some really well designed fonts that are actually used on some of these websites. Next up, we have the hungryjpeg.com, and this also includes stuff like photos and templates, icons, all those kind of things, but they do have a free font section as well, and there's some really great options here that are worth checking out. Next up, we have graphicpair.com. Now, this is actually including free and premium fonts, kind of in one page, which is a little annoying, so if you find a font, it may not be available for free, but you do get some really good options like Hovel, for example, is an awesome typeface and it's free, but you may stumble into something that you have to pay for. Next up, we have freetypography.com. So funnily enough, all of these fonts are available for free. So you can go through here and it's got some awesome options. What I like about this is it actually arranges them by date. So they're actually updating it pretty regularly, I believe once or twice a month. And you can see which fonts are actually trending and are most popular on this site. So those are just a couple of websites that I've listed, but you'll find that as you're browsing free fonts on the internet, you'll just find more libraries and one website will link to another and then you'll just find a whole new library and selection of fonts. So this could kind of go on forever. For example, when I clicked on that BNs link for one font, it actually took me to another website for Pixel Surplus and this had a ton of other freebies for other graphics and icons as well as free fonts. So as you can see, it is kind of endless, but in a way that's a good thing because you'll always have a font for whatever project you need. Now, if you'll let me be a little bit annoying, I wanna throw this into the video. Please make sure that you actually have a license to use these fonts if you're gonna be selling any of your work or publishing it to where a ton of people are gonna be seeing it. The way you can find it is usually just in the fonts folder. And so you'll see something like this, just like a text file or some sort of license. And this says it is an open font license and it tells you exactly what the restrictions are, whether or not you can sell it or what kind of permissions you have. So I know it's super annoying to hear, but the reason I'm saying this is as a designer, I know how long it can take to go through your work and spend time perfecting every little piece. And so just to see that republished as someone else's and where you don't get credit is really annoying and just disrespectful. So please just make sure you guys do have a license for whatever project you are working on. So guys, that is it for this video, but this is also my last video before Christmas, so I hope you all have an awesome holiday with your family and friends. We are just a couple hundred subscribers away from 30,000. It would be so cool if we could get there before the end of the year, so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Anyway guys, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.